it's almost summertime, which means it's time to torture test some more trucks. On this episode, I am going to torture test our Ram 1500 Stubby truck. This is the most affordable four-wheel drive full-size truck that we bought last year. And I'm towing, well, just over 5,000 pounds up Sunshine Canyon. And why am I talking about summer? Why am I talking about torture testing? Well, it's about towing straight up a mountain on a very slow moving canyon road, as you can see right here. So I'll be watching temperatures for the engine oil and transmission and the rest. Uh, and let's get a baseline right now. So let me show you what's going on over here. So the coolant temp starting at about 233-ish. Trans temp starts at 201. Oil temp at 230. And PSI, of course, is right there. So as I accelerate, and this is about a 10-mile climb. This is brutal. There's not a lot of air going across the radiators and the coolers. We're towing up a mountain, then the, the pavement will turn to dirt uh, and bad things could happen. Um, if you've been watching TFL truck, you know that we almost, well, one of the trucks we tested on this um, hill, on this mountain, went into limp mode because it was getting very, very hot. So it could be really quite problematic. And we'll be doing more of this uh, this year uh, with different loads. This truck is maxed out. That's another element of this test. Uh, this Ram 1500 Classic, this is basically a previous generation Ram that Ram still currently builds. This Ram 1500 Classic is powered by a 3.6 liter Panastar V6 gasoline engine under the hood. It's the oldie but goodie. It, it's rated to about 305 horsepower and almost 270 pound-feet of torque. So it's got pretty good horsepower, but of course the torque is low. It's rated to tow just under, uh, just around 5,000 pounds because of the rear axle setup. Uh, if it had a different rear axle ratio, uh, you could bump up the towing number a little bit higher, but I'm towing a Jeep CJ5. You could see it kind of following behind me. And I'm going to maintain, you know, like normal, I'm going to maintain my speed limit. So this is the first switchback. So I have to slow down and then accelerate straight up straight up this mountain road. I also need to watch out for traffic because I am towing. This trailer is a Big Tex 20 footer car hauler. So it's not super, super long trailer. It is eight and a half feet wide. So I have to watch out for that. Here's the deal uh, with new trucks also. Um, as you have noted in a lot of your comments, um, the new engines, you know, there's a, this push to get better and better economy. Of course, we love economy, but that also means some of the engine, like oil, for example, uh, manufacturers are making them thinner and thinner. Um, not as much resistance as that oil is going through the engine. And to some extent, that also has to do with the transmission fluid. Oh boy, I'm, I'm, I'm floored right now. I, I, I'm not accelerating. My tow haul mode is on. It's right there. I do have a brake controller that's gonna be important on the way down. Uh, but for this video, I just wanna show you my way up the mountain. Okay, now it leveled off a little bit. It's accelerating a little bit. Ambient temperature is still about near 68 degrees, about 70 degrees. And I'm going from about a mile high above sea level, about, what, 5,300 feet above sea level, to about 8,000 feet above sea level. So this is quite a huge climb. Oof. This engine is working hard. 5,000 RPM. 
so I'm pleasantly surprised after what a couple minutes what four or five minutes my oil temp is about 237 trans it's about 219 and coolant is about 221 so this engine is managing this so far quite well <laughs> that was 6,000 rpm By the way, this trailer's brakes are pretty, really, really good. Pretty powerful brakes. So my gain is set at around three and a half. Um, if I set it any higher, when I touch my brakes, uh, I can feel the trailer is tugging a little bit on me under braking. So I'm pretty happy with the way this is set up. And there's no trailer sway. I'm not going fast enough to really be affected by trailer sway. And my AC is on. I mean, it's not maximum AC, but it's still on, so I'm comfortable. Of course, my camera guy Cole is also, I want us to be comfortable. We're driving like normal. So that was a slightly easier section here. And now we're gonna keep climbing. And in a couple minutes, this pavement will disappear and we'll start hitting a washboard road. This is a four wheel drive truck. I don't know, I may have to switch to four high uh, for a couple of those um, dirt road climbs because otherwise I might be just losing too much traction and I need momentum. I need to maintain momentum, otherwise I may not make all the way up. Oh, there's a deer. Sweet, we have an audience. So this truck is pretty uh, curious. Um, like I said, originally this was the most affordable full-size 4x4. When we set out to find this truck, uh, we really wanted this two-door cab, regular cab, short bed. In 2023, the two-door cab classic Ram 1500 is still available, but they actually got rid of the short bed option, which is a six foot, four inch bed. They're now going with eight footers, which is basically a work truck. Uh, you can get it as a tradesman. Um, they also have F, um, Ram 1500 cl classic crew cab versions and also their warlock edition of the classic truck which is um, kind of looks like a first generation rem rebel it's a little bit more off-road worthy it's got a different grill this truck has a chrome package I'll, I'll show you outside in a bit and you've seen this truck we, we've done many videos with this truck it does have towing mirrors my mirrors are extended right now rem's been doing this I think for a couple of reasons. First of all, to keep the price down of the entry-level truck. Um, so the two-wheel drive version of this Ram 1500 Classic starts in the low $30,000 range, which is a really great deal. But then when you get 4x4, they're really up the price. <laughs> it's almost a $7,000 option to get four-wheel drive on one of these trucks, which we did. And then with a couple of other optional packages, like the towing package, uh, with the brake controller, the towing mirrors, and the chrome package, and also carpet floors. Uh, this truck's price was around 41000 So really close to $40,000. Look at the temperatures, they're still manageable. Now it's gonna get a bit harder so we're almost halfway done and the climb is gonna just get more and more intense Here it is, it's switching to dirt. K 
Okay, we're switching to dirt. There's a water tanker. I could hear my fan running. I'm gonna switch to four-wheel drive. I can do that on the fly. All right, I'm in four-wheel drive now. All right, it says there's some road work ahead. I think they're actually grading this road, making it a little bit more usable for this coming season. Of course, over the winter time, this is where snow stays around quite a long time. And this is what, late May, early June, soon to be June, so I think they're actually trying to maintain this road. Which is actually great. So this is might be this might make it a little bit easier because the washboard part of this road later in the season really makes it harder so you can you need to maintain momentum you really have to <laughs> just go around these switchbacks with a little bit of speed like i'm doing right now all right well this is a little dangerous there's a mountain biker I wish he would scooch over a little. This is, I'm floored right now. I'm going seven miles an hour, full throttle. I lost momentum. Come on truck, please. Please work. All the temperatures are in check. It's not like it's pulling, it shouldn't be pulling power from me. You can still see all those numbers. 206 coolant, 213 trans, 217 oil. Now it's picking up some momentum. Oh, there's the grater. I mean, this, he's, he's throwing some dirt here. So I had to make a decision which side am I, do I need to stay on? Okay, it's okay. I'm all right. Still moving. Uh, still moving and still climbing. This is one of the most difficult parts. Full throttle once again, guys. 17 miles an hour. Full throttle. She's giving me all she's got, even though it's not downshifting. I guess I could technically downshift manually. I have a gear selector here on my steering wheel. So if I really wanted to ring it out, I could probably downshift manually. Still climbing. Look at the beautiful view. It's a little smoky. We got a little bit of uh, wildfire smoke around here. Okay, I need to make this turn. Let's see if I can do it. Full throttle. There's the grader. Oh boy. Oh wow. Wow. Okay. Sorry. Almost losing traction here. 
There is the sheriff. Thank you, sheriff. The little CJ5 is still behind me. He's still doing okay. So this is around the area where I overheated. Well, one of the trucks really went into limp home mode that we towed relatively heavy here on this stretch. Uh, this truck is, seems to be in check. I think just the overall cooling ability of this particular setup is good enough because it's maintaining all the temperatures well in check. So there's not like an over, like a runaway train where the liquids are just warm heating up with without of like it being able to control it a tiny bit more pavement and a couple of more really hard switchbacks and we should be at the summit okay we're getting super close So far, I'm very impressed. This, our little stubby truck, our Ram 1500 Classic, has taken a beating. Alex and Case took it to Moab. There's an off-road video with this truck. I'm towing up pretty much over maximum capacity up a mountain, and it's still taking it. I did it. Okay. Let, let me let's go and step outside so we can finish this video take a look at the temps take a look at the temps really quick 212 208 221 uh, not bad okay we did it we did it Tommy Tommy's here Tommy, Great work, Andre. Dude, stubby truck, I'm really impressed. It kept all the temperatures in check. It was really hard. It wouldn't downshift in certain areas. Yeah. So that's why I was going very slowly because I was foot to the floor uh -huh. and it was not shifting quite as much. I would say though, Andre, you were easily doing the speed limit. I noticed at the top here. Lock, lost your safety chain. Well, it's it's a lock. Oh. It's a, it's a padlock. But Andre, that was impressive. Yes. So Stubby wins again. Great work, buddy. There you have it. So the torture test uh, is, is a success. Come back to uh, oldtfl.com for everything automotive in one place. <laughs>